So it's basically a bonanza lately for Anthropics. Claude, just creating a quick update video for some new features, basically all around the user interface and some new functions here. Again, like always with all my videos, this is my first time walking through it. So, you know, bear with me. I try to take the first time user experience so that A, you sort of see me fumble and foil about, uh, sort of lower the bar for your interaction with these things. And well, as well as it's a good test case to see how well these things, how intuitive are these things becoming? When these models first got released, the UI or user interface left a lot to be desired. Um, they still sort of just present us with this search bar. So unless you're already comfortable with how to sort of work with these things, uh, the beginner just sort of struggles. But anyway, let's put this aside. So this just got um, following uh, this guy. Uh, on Twitter, he's uh, development relations at, at uh, Anthropic. So he released uh, this 56 minutes ago. It's about 11.58 a.m. here East Coast time. So uh, let's go through this and see. So first is a sidebar. Now the sidebar actually is something that I noticed uh, the other day uh, when I was doing the walkthrough of 3.5 Sonnets release. But finally, they sort of have this sidebar, so you can see your recent examples. You just click on it, let's move me out of the way here, and try that again. So I can get my, you know, my settings and all that down here, and this shows all my recent um, chats, if you will. Now, you'll also know that they have this thing called projects, which just got released. So basically, you can uh, bundle a bunch of different files and documents into one chat. So let's see what this is. So yeah, basically you can group these together and uh, you can basically, they're now a foundational base for that chat. So let's try an example project here, see what happens. I haven't pre-selected anything here. Okay, add relevant context. Okay, an example project that also, I'm just gonna pause while I get acclimated. Okay, so this is just an example project. I can't do much here. They've pre-populated with this Claude prompting guide and they're basically just asking me to sort of interact with this document. That, that's kind of similar to uploading a document. So I wanna actually run a real project for you and see how well it does. Okay, so I went back to the main chat page. I'm gonna click over here to bring up my sidebar there's projects, okay, so I've already done that sort of first example project they gave me, and here that is. Um, I wanna create a new project, so I'm gonna click there, and basically says that this helps you organize your work and leverage your knowledge across multiple conversations. So I can upload docs, code files to create a theme collection that Claude can reference again and again. It's kind of like a micro knowledge management function, um, and all right, so I'm just gonna create a test project, uh, JPK. What are you trying to achieve? Demo to my audience this feature, this new feature. Okay, if I could spell, create a project. All right, so here's where I'm gonna upload. So let me just find some of those documents and I'll be right back. Okay, so just to give you an update. I went through my files. I decided to pull up a bunch of my um, uh, syllabus, uh, number of syllabus from my teaching. And you can see, I had no idea what the parameters are. They might be here somewhere. 15% uh, of knowledge size used. Let's see what this says here. Um, project is currently limited to Claude's maximum context. So I'm, I'm only using 15%, I guess they're all uploaded. I note this says very large. Um, I know there's a lot of artwork in there. So I assume this is all good because it is ready to go. It looks like I could add substantially more because I've only used 15%, which is really, really interesting. Um, so I am now going to test this. I'm basically gonna say, can you summarize the content that I've uploaded? Um, so let's see what it does here. Let's see how fast. We are using Sonnet uh, 3.5, which is the most, okay. So it's going through. 
and summarizing all of these. All right. Um, I want to see if I can. I've uploaded six files, but it only summarized three. So I'm not sure. Um, the mini NBA program. Okay, so it collapsed some of my courses. Okay, so there was some executive ed stuff, and then there was some actual law school stuff, and then there was a program that floated between both. Um, and, and it deciphered that and actually broke it into three categories. It didn't summarize each file individually. Okay, that makes sense. Let's do some. So this is what I'm basically asking. I said, thanks, Claude. Now can you create an infograph in SVG style? So that, that should call up the new artifacts uh, feature, which you're going to see what that is in a second if you're not familiar with it. So um, an infograph in SVG style that depicts the major topics covered in all this content and learning objectives that would be appropriate for law students and then for practicing lawyers. Um, let's see how well this does. Okay, it's creating the code as we speak. So uh, the, it's titled Legal Business Education Infographic. Uh, bear with me as it continues to build out this code, which I could copy and paste this code and use it in a number of ways. Um, but now it's actually gonna give me the preview. And look at that. Um, let me just pause so I can check the, the accuracy. Of I mean, this is not bad. This is not necessarily how I would uh, state this, but if you look at what it's broken down and there's probably 50 pages worth of content that it's summarizing. Now that has this in its knowledge base. So it was able to break this down by law students and practicing lawyers, uh, really helpful. So basically, let's see here. Um, if I close out this, okay, I could download that. I could add to current project. Let's see what that function does here. Um, added to the project, okay. So when I go back to here and I click on projects, let me just see. Now I have got test project. Okay, so I should be able to pull this up. And boom, it's all right there. And this is my chat with it. So I could go back into that chat and look at it. Let's just do that real quick so we see. That's the archive of my chat um, with this. Really solid, really great. Um, as you could see, I could have easily have just started a new conversation all with this knowledge base. So really, really interesting um, and really, really helpful. Again, it's kind of a micro KM tool or knowledge management tool. So there's one more feature here that I don't know if you saw they've added. Now we can add custom instructions. OK, so this is basically a, a system prompt for this chat, meaning this is a prompt or instructions that Claude will pay attention to during this entire chat. Um, so you'll be able to guide and tune um, this chat for specific purposes or if you want to give it sort of background. Um, so let me give you uh, an example of this. It gives you an example right here. So um, use a professional tone, use concise, simple wording, you are an expert in astrophysics. So here I could easily say, I am a law professor. I am a uh, executive educator for legal services. And, um, you know, basically you, Claude, are an expert in uh, learning design and uh, course structure. And so I could put that in here and save those instructions. And that's sort of how Claude will operate now. Say I wanted to use this material to remix the content to maybe develop a new course or take an existing course from three credits down to one credit and redesign that syllabus. Um, this would help me do this in a very, very helpful way. I don't have to constantly be massaging this because I've set these custom instructions. So think about that in your own use. Think about that in your own sort of uh, your own realm, how might you use a little micro knowledge management functionality that you can upload an abundance of documents as well as custom instructions. Really cool. Um, let me just verify, this is only available with the Pro or Teams subscription, so not the free. Let me just verify. 
Yes, yeah, so as you can see here, the new eye changes are available today. Okay, this is about an hour ago. Um, and uh, projects are available to all Claude Pro and team users. And we can obviously me re read more about that. I'll put this link below. That's it. So Claude Anthropic, Anthropic Claude rather, keeps on developing features uh, and rolling this out. Really, really useful.